Hello, looks a little foggy. There we go. Maybe something's on my uh, lens here. But um, it is Thursday morning, and I just got out of the shower and ate, and I wanted to give an update on Wednesday. Uh, a couple things I learned. One, um, well, and this one's pretty obvious, but just to kind of reiterate, because uh, I don't want my um, experience to seem like it's going to be everybody's experience, but um, it should be noted that every class that comes to residency, I think there were six of about 15 to 20 students each, but each one of the classes are going to be they're going to be the same in the content, but in the delivery they're going to be a little bit different. So if something I did on Monday you guys don't do until Tuesday or vice versa, um, just know that there's a little bit of leeway. But by the end of the week, everyone should be able to um, have their 10 strategic points pretty much nailed down on the topic that they've discussed while at residency. Now I'm skeptical that many people will keep that topic. Um, they uh, seem to be taking us through the process, but maybe what we're actually going to do is going to change throughout the next uh, few months and maybe a year before we get to um, the second residency class. And it looks like some people even beyond that. So it just depends on your dedication and preparation. Um, what seems to be the common theme of grounding your work and making it a successful dissertation is can you defend it and can you defend every part of it so if you can walk in and when you have your chair and defend why you put your sock on the left foot instead of the right foot even though it can go on either then I think you're in a good a good place if that analogy makes sense but yesterday um, we did we, we, we went over a couple extra parts of the 10 strategic point in a little bit more detail um, talked about how to use certain methods and analysis tools. They give us a lot of um, resources to go to uh, to make sure we're successful with those things, um, and that's pretty that's pretty cool. But <clears throat> a lot of the time is going to be spent one on one. Come up to the front or come around the corner outside the room, go sit in the lounge um, area with your instructor, and uh, go over and scrutinize a lot of your a lot of your points and uh, get some one on one feedback, which is very very helpful. Um, I have to say that in the last two days, two and a half days since I've been here, um, I have learned more in these last two and a half days than I have, at least on dissertation and research, than I have in all of my classes combined. But that's okay because the classes are, are meant to be content classes, not uh, research classes in, in most cases. But even in the research classes, I feel like I've um, like uh, I have to take theories for uh, theories and inquiry, for example, but I still feel like that's more theoretical based. It's still more classroom based, but this is actually getting out there and doing it. Now we had a focus group that I was a part of. Um, a couple of students were randomly selected out of each class, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of that. And what we did is we went in and talked about our experience and what we can do better. And part of that experience, or part of what they were looking for, is how can we get students to look at the course material, the reading material, the PowerPoints, etc., before coming to residency. And so I recognize that a lot of that information is super dry and doesn't seem to be totally pertinent because you don't really have the context. If you're looking at a PowerPoint presentation with bullet points, yeah, the person who made that PowerPoint presentation, who put those bullet points in there, who has context around those bullet points gets it, but somebody who just sees words and phrases that kind of don't mean anything to them, that's kind of a challenge. So I, I wasn't super engaged with the PowerPoint presentations, um, but that, that, that was just me, and I think that they're trying to figure that out. Um, also, my instructor was uh, was pretty awesome. She put up a um, YouTube video describing how to come up with our gap, how to come up with uh, most of our 10 points already. So um, while the content wasn't there on the way here, the uh, some idea of how to navigate, a map to, to navigate the, uh, the structure was there. And that's super important. But uh, so far, um, yesterday was probably my favorite day. I was really exhausted the day before. It's frustrating. I do a lot of homework in the in the hotel room and uh, just research. Um, if you can read everything in your power that you can um, on your topic and, and try to become as much of an expert on it before residency as possible, that would help. Um, sometimes we don't really know what that means. I'm kind of getting an idea of what that means through this process. But... Um, the advice I, I asked on the DC network before coming to residency, I posted a question. I said, what would you have done differently uh, in residency now that you've gone through it? And someone said, I would just read up on all the material. And I was thinking, 
Actually, no, what he said was, I would learn how to read. And I thought, well, that sucks for you in your, per in your personal education that you didn't know how to read. But what he meant, I think, now that I'm going through this process, is I would know how to um, dissect the articles a little bit more and look for the things that are important. Now, I think the problem with that statement is most people can read the article, they know that there's parts to the article, but there's going to be a time when something just clicks. It's going to be this aha moment where you're like, the structure makes more sense. So if you're smarter than me, which probably everybody is, but if you're, since, you're, since you're smarter than me, how about that way, you'll probably figure that out. But it took a little bit of pointing and, and reiteration and saying, like, this is where it is. But I think what, really what it came down to is that I experienced it. I had confidence in what I was, what I thought that I knew, I knew, I knew, I thought I knew, if that makes any sense. Today, um, it's another day, so I'll come back with another update. And uh, hopefully this help is, helps you. Thanks. Bye.